I'd never imagined this. Whatever this is. I don't know what to think. This doesn't have to end in sadness. A touching new drama, Float. Watch on iPlayer. From food to housing, from leisure to climate change, from the development of our cities to the state of our health, land is at the very heart of the way we live our lives. And the people who control it have the power to make decisions that can affect us all. Join us as together we explore our planet now, including the two-part special, Who Owns Scotland? Starts Sunday at 9 on the BBC Scotland channel and iPlayer. Stephen Jordan is in Aviemore, bringing you discussion on all today's biggest topics. Debate night at half ten here on BBC Scotland. It's Wednesday evening, this is BBC Scotland and here with all the latest headlines is Rebecca. Good evening, your headlines at 7 o'clock. A warrant has been issued for a man accused of murdering his mother after he failed to appear in court. Sean Flynn was due to stand trial at the High Court in Livingston over the murder of Louise Tiffany in 2002. He denies all charges. Dozens of people will spend a third night away from home following an explosion at a property in Ayr. Four houses in Gores Park are likely to be demolished while 35 others are damaged or strewn with debris. Morocco is halting direct flights to and from the United Kingdom from midnight. It's due to rising coronavirus cases across the UK. And Steve Bruce has left his post as Newcastle manager. A Saudi-based consortium took over the club 13 days ago. I'm back with Martin at 9 o'clock and at half past 10 on the channel, Stephen Jordan is back with political argument on debate night. You're not safe from me. We need someone who looks like an outsider. Who looks clean and who is neither. We don't want to know. If we don't know, if we don't lie to him, maybe we get out of this. Guilt continues Tuesday at 10 on the BBC Scotland Channel and iPlayer. In an hour, Bob Shepton bids an emotional farewell to adventure so he can take care of his wife. Now on BBC Scotland, Ben Fogel hears some of the spiritual myths about the Callanish Stones as his tour of Scotland's sacred islands continues.